Hey guys, it's been a while. So we haven't caught up in a while and a few things have happened. I quit my job two weeks ago. And we're leaving Berlin. We're getting the hell out of here. <laughs> At the end of September. So we're sort of coming full circle with one year in Berlin. Mm -hmm. To be honest, it was already from the beginning sort of thought as a more temporary thing. Yeah. But we had the option of staying longer if we wanted to, but it's time to move on to new, bigger, beautiful things. We're gonna be traveling for a bit. First, we're going to Bali. Back to Bali. Back to Bali. We've been there earlier this year already. Yeah, so I'm finally taking the leap and getting my yoga certification. Um, I've honestly been wanting to do this for so many years. It's been, it's, it's ridiculous. And not only that, I get to do it in Bali, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, I, I'm so excited and ready to do it. But I'm also very, very nervous. Then we're going after Bali. So we're staying there for a month. And then we are flying to Cape Town, South Africa. Yeah, I'm so excited about that. I've always wanted to go to Cape Town. Um, so we're going to be staying in an Airbnb there for a month. And then we're going to be doing a little road trip along the Garden Route. And then we're flying to Johannesburg. So we're so excited to just show you guys and yeah, just bring you along the ride with us. So we don't have a return ticket yet. That might change soon, but for now we might see what it feels like when we're there and if we want to stay longer or if we're really feeling the pull to go somewhere and like have more of a routine again. What city, we don't really know. But I think that's kind of the exciting part. Mm -hmm. We're at an age, we're in our 20s. What better time to do this than now? Just booking a one way, traveling around, meeting people, exploring the world. I feel like I in particular was suffering under the routine of having this full-time nine to five, Monday to Friday office, office job. Yeah. Like, my job was like fine and the company and the people and everything, like everything's great. But at the end of the day, I'm not a routine person. And this wasn't a job that I was like super passionate about. And I also felt bad just kind of like sitting at a desk all day and I never really saw myself just doing that mm -hmm. so sort of what kept me going was okay you're gonna work this job and you're gonna save money and with that money you can then travel and have those experiences again because honestly I feel like time was passing by so fast every day was sort of like any other day yeah you wake up you do the same thing you leave at the same time and then you're tired, you go to bed, you wake up, you do it again. It's just, yeah. You know, it's easy to get stuck in something because you're comfortable and you're like afraid of trying something else and taking a risk. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's like, is this what I want to be doing, you know? Yeah. And like, no, it's not. I studied something completely different. I, Berlin, I will always have love for Berlin and it is in a way my home. As you guys know, like I am German and I was born here and I spent a lot of time here and I have a lot of memories in this city, but it's just, especially living here again, I feel like that city has changed a lot. I used to feel inspired in this city and you know what? There will be a blog post from me coming out on this topic because I have a lot to say about it. But what is exciting is our upcoming adventures, like holy smokes. Holy smokes! A lot of people have questions when we say that we're just packing our bags and leaving. Hitting the so road. Let's do a quick FAQ. First question. How are you financing this? Like, where are you getting the money from? It is a lot of saving money. We knew that we were going to do something like this. Also, a few things have come in from like tax returns from various countries, vacation payout from various countries and things like that. So that's sort of accumulated. So now we have like a solid base it's not like that much but it can fund travel for a few months especially in countries like bali and south africa yeah. where the cost of living is a lot lower mm -hmm. number two people ask so like what are you going to be doing when you're there are you just like traveling or are you going to be like working somewhere yes of course we will be traveling but i think it's important that we don't want to just travel we want to do things that we otherwise haven't had time for because we were working and because we were so stuck in this routine mm -hmm. that includes things such as yes vlogging mm -hmm. like alexis her yoga thing mm -hmm. me i've been wanting to write again more i've been writing up some blog articles but i'm also interested in more like yeah creative writing lyric writing all that sort of stuff uh, i would love to be doing some music but like i can't really bring my drums with me <laughs> 
Another thing that when we're in South Africa, we would really love to volunteer um, at just yeah some different programs that we found online. Question number three. Are you nervous? Hmm. Well, yeah, of course, this is a new experience. We're leaving a comfortable life to go and just walk into like the unknown. We have no idea. We've never been to Cape Town. We've never been to South Africa. So it's, yeah, it's all new. And yeah, of course we have nerves and we're nervous, but I think that's also the exciting part of it. It's gonna be so crazy when we're leaving oh our freaking God, place with days, just our we're backpack. We're gonna be freaking or... running around like headless, headless chickens. But it's gonna be so exhilarating at the same time. We're gonna be like, this is everything we have on our backs, oh babe. Let's go. I'm gonna be traveling just with hand luggage. Yeah, I just have a backpack. Yeah, so we both have backpacks. Hers is a little bit bigger than mine. So count on me putting my stuff Nine. in Nice. So what we need to do is we need to get rid of a lot of stuff. Thankfully, this apartment was furnished, so we don't have a lot of furniture to get rid of, but it's a lot of clothes. So we've been working on selling that, sorting it out, what we can just get rid of. And we're gonna have like just two or three bags that we're gonna leave in storage here. So now we're selling our stuff near the market because we couldn't be bothered to get up early enough for it. Or pay for a spot. So we have our little makeshift stand here. Yeah, we're doing it. So far we've sold a few of Alexis's things. I think we could be a little better at it, like with the prices I know. and stuff, but we're like, okay, whatever. But I'm like scared. Someone's gonna buy my reaper pedal. Someone's gonna buy my... Super cute mini amp, remember when I was so excited to buy this? Oh. Someone's gonna buy our record player, the guitar, the bass, the speaker. This one I'm keeping. But you know what? It's all just material things. And I can always buy it again in another city, in another country, or even in the same one, whatever. I'm kind of excited, you know? We're gonna be reducing our clothes to like three, four outfits, which is pretty intense. But it's also liberating in a way, you know? Yeah. I don't need a lot anyway. I need like different sizes of sleeves, all black, and shorts and pants all black, and then I'm good. Mm -hmm. So this is the winter stuff that we're keeping. This is the stuff that I'm cool to get rid of. This is stuff that I'm keeping and potentially bringing. Black tank top, what do you think? I can find a better one. Or do you, actually no, I'm gonna bring this one. Whatever you want to do. I, I wear it as a black tank top. What can go wrong with that? Ooh, club shirt. Oh, keep that. That's mine. Well. It's, it doesn't even take up any space. So. Yeah. Then this is also yours. And this is like your ripped shirt. You never wear it. Yeah, I it's do. It's being thrown out. I wear that. It, you wear this. It has a freaking hole where your boob is. Yeah, but then the bra shows a bit and it's like trendy. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it was trendy <laughs> in like 2008. Yeah, we're really trying to weed out any fast fashion brands. Um, I've been doing that kind of for a while now, but um, yeah, just starting to touch on sustainable and ethically made clothing. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for more things like that because I'm super excited to start talking about it. I do also feel pretty proud. Alexis and I have been together for three years now and that we're wow. doing this and we're, we're doing this together and that we're both like just down to do this and because you know, that takes a lot too. Definitely. And we're gonna be doing a little bit our independent thing when we're in Indonesia, but we will be every now and then meeting again there. And I think it's so exciting that Alexa is finally doing her yoga teacher training. You're so sweet. And I'm so proud of her. And please encourage her and give her all the yoga love. Who wouldn't like a freaking yoga class led by Alexis Brilliant? And yes, that is her real name. You're so sweet. Babe, I was kissing your cheek, little bug. But the mouth wanted it. <laughs> I'm okay with that too. So yeah, just wanted to let you know about these new exciting developments, sort of a lot of news to share. Subscribers from Bali and South Africa, hit us up. Please do hit us up. We'd love to connect with some people in other parts of the world. But yes, that was our super exciting news. We are so happy that we're sharing it with you. We get to share it with you and having this platform is honestly so crazy to us still. 
but we're doing it and we're happy that you're joining along for the ride and yeah stay tuned for like so many new exciting things all right well thanks for stopping by and we'll see you at the next one